and his special guest. Well, the English Football Association Cup, as usual, is full of surprises. Yesterday we had the fourth round in the UK and the aristocrats Ipswich crashed to second division Shrewsbury. They went down 2-0 on a very heavy pitch and uh, they joined, of course, a long string of other great clubs like Manchester United, the cup holders who have gone, Arsenal have gone, Aston Villa have disappeared and Nottingham Forest. So as you can see, the cup is really one of those competitions which uh, gets rid of the teams that just can't make it. Uh, even West Ham struggled yesterday and they finished in a draw and they'll have another chance during the week in their replay and that was of course the London derby and we're going to show you some of the highlights of that match but uh, the two goals that were scored you'll notice that on each occasion they had three attempts before they got the ball into the net. We'll show you some of the highlights now which comes from the BBC commentator Philip Hyton and uh, in white is the West Ham side. West Ham, all in white, had by far the better of the first 20 minutes, and the former Palace striker, Dave Swindlehurst, went close after Brooking and Pike had created the opening. But it was the second division side, Palace, who took the lead after 27 minutes with their first dangerous attack. The cross came from Mabbott, and Giles had two attempts before McCulloch forced it in for a 1-0 lead. It looked all over for West Ham when the old firm of Lampard and Brooking combined to set up the equaliser. It was a goal much like the first, taking three attempts before Swindlehurst beat Wood. Now we have some scores for you. As you can see there, Watford had a win. Uh, West Ham, as we saw, was a draw. Uh, Everton struggled against Gillingham. Oxford beat Blackpool. Southampton struggled against Portsmouth. Shrewsbury, we told you about, 2-0. Sunderland went down to Birmingham and Spurs, believe it or not, have to live another day. Now in Scotland we had two great wins by the favourite clubs up there. Celtic beat uh, Berwick 4-0 and uh, Rangers defeated Dunfermline 2-1. But on the local scene, this week the opening of the night series, the Buffalo Gold Cup, produced some also exciting results with Juventus being the biggest disappointment of all after spending so much money on their new team. They struggled there to get a draw with Heidelberg, which was a virtually a part-time side, coached by Brian Garvey, the new coach from England, the youth international coach. And uh, Preston too collapsed, to which I think the team that's certainly going to win the series in my opinion, a great win by the Melbourne Croatia lineup with Brogan, Tommy Cummings and Sean Parton getting those three goals. Footscray, almost at full strength, struggled against Croydon City, the only state league side in the competition, and South Melbourne produced the goal of the series so far when uh, uh, Ken Murphy uh, shot that magnificent ball into the net uh, last night from about 20 metres. A great result there and a little bit of a disappointment for the opposition. Stay with us, we're breaking for uh, commercial and then I'll be back with my very special guest Vincent Verducci from the Juventus Soccer Club. <laughs> 